Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to test this new Yending 30 watts 7070 version LED. It's 30 watts and the seller mentioned that it operates on 4 volts and maximum 8 amps. So today I will test it and will drive it crazy to more than 8 amps. So let's test. So the previous LED is this Cree 7070 which I reviewed in my previous video. So now I am going to test this. So now first of all we need a buck converter. This is the 20 amps buck converter. It can handle 20 amps. And on the other hand, we need a big heat sink. I am using this copper CPU heat sink. I already drilled two holes to hold the uh, to fit the LED in place. And uh, I already soldered the two wires to another LED. So first of all, mount it on this big heat sink. First, uh, and you need this heat sink compound. A small amount. One hole is unscrewed to fit it in the place nicely. Now tighten the bolt. The LED is now tightly fixed on the heat sink and to drive this I need a power supply. I'm using this 19 volt adapter from laptop charger. Let's connect the wires positive to positive and negative to negative. Please make sure that you have connected the positive input and out uh, positive input uh, and negative input correctly because these modules don't have reverse polarity protection or you can also connect a high ampere diode on the input side. So you can see that it's now connected. Let's power the adapter. see that the module is now turned on and the next step is to adjust the its output to 4 volts so take a multimeter you can see that it's already set to 4.1 volts this potentiometer is for voltage and second one is for current. Followed just the voltage to almost 4 volts. Four point zero two is good. And now we will adjust the ampere after connecting the LED. So for that purpose, you need a clamp meter so you can measure the amperes correctly let's connect connect the led first turn off the module first connect the led wires
now let's turn on the module oh man it's extremely bright led now we have to check its ampere clamp to any one of the wires you has oh man it's taking almost 13 amps that's incredible let's further increase the amperes it's not increasing further its brightness is insane its emitting point is only 2.9 millimeter and the seller mentioned that it's 5100 lumens but if it's so then it will beat Cree XFP 70.3 but I did, don't think so that it's 5000 lumens it's, ne it's nearly uh, equal to almost 3000 to 4000 lumens but still it's extremely bright its applications is in high range torches flashlights aspheric flashlights or a reflector flashlights so as you can see that it's taking 13.7 amps now my clamp meter is dying because of low battery no problem as I already showed you that the temperature is rising for better cooling we also have to install a big fan on its back of the heat sink so let's turn off it it's hot it's pretty hot I mounted it on copper heat sink because the copper is good conductor as compared to aluminium and some other metals you cannot drive to uh, 8 amps or 13 amps or 15 amps of this LED without a heat sink otherwise it will burn so if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel stay tuned for the next video